Including Z-Wave devices with the IQ Panel 2 is easy and provides your home with powerful automation and energy management. The IQ Panel supports up to 119 Z-Wave or Z-Wave Plus devices, including 80 lights, 6 locks, 6 thermostats, 6 garage openers, and 21 other devices like Z-Wave sirens, water valves, repeaters, etc. Z-Wave Plus is powerful, improving on previous versions of Z-Wave technology by expanding range, increasing speed, and adding encryption between the wireless signals sent from the panel to each device. Every time you add a device category, you'll get a new page on the panel represented by these dots on the bottom of the screen. For example, if you have multiple lights, scroll up and down to see them all. Then swipe over to see your locks page. Again, if you have more than one lock, scroll up and down to see each one. Z-Wave uses mesh network technology to communicate, which means as you add more devices, the network actually gets stronger, faster, and more responsive. To include a Z-Wave or Z-Wave Plus device, start by swiping down on your settings tray, go to Settings, Advanced Settings, type in your installer code, Installation, Devices, and Z-Wave Devices. Z-Wave devices are unique in that they can only be used in a single network at a time, so there's a couple things you should do to ensure a smooth inclusion process. Sometimes a device is tested by being added to a Z-Wave network before it leaves the factory. So the first thing you should do is clear the device's memory before attempting to add it to your network. Simply press clear on the panel and the corresponding button on the device itself. It is deleted from the network successfully. With the device cleared, you're now ready to include the device in the network. Start by touching add device and then touch include on the panel and then the corresponding button on the device itself. Once it's complete, Verify that it's correct by checking the type shown on the screen. The IQ panel saves you time by pre-filling the most common name used for that type of device. You can even type in custom names using the on-screen keyboard and the panel will speak those names using our Android text-to-speech technology built into every system. Once you verify that everything's right, touch add to complete the process. Repeat these steps for any additional devices you wish to add to the network. Some devices, like door locks, require the device to be within a few feet of the panel in order to pass secure enrollment. So you'll want to include these devices in the network before installing the hardware. You should also be aware of where your devices are as you include them in the network. We recommend starting with the devices closest to the panel first, working outward until inclusion is complete. To ensure your network is operating at peak efficiency, you should test your Z-Wave network using the Z-Wave system test on the panel. To do this, swipe down to access the settings tray, go to settings, advanced settings, type in your installer code, system tests, Z-Wave tests. Once you are done pairing all your devices, or if a particular device is not responding as expected, you should rediscover the network to allow the Z-Wave Plus radio inside the panel to remap the pathways to each device to ensure optimal performance. The Z-Wave counters gives you a report of how many commands are effectively passed between the panel and the devices. You can also see a visual topology of your Z-Wave network by viewing your Z-Wave diagnostics. This shows you which devices are connected directly to to the panel versus using neighbors and giving you an idea of the signal strength of each. Adding a network of Z-Wave devices will open exciting new ways to use the IQ panel and truly build a secure, smart home or business. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.